Hey everybody, Coach Jason here from Top of the Line Running. Hope you're all doing well. So we're going to start a milestone series. Workouts that'll help you achieve certain levels in the mile. I'm going to do 800, I'm going to do 2 miles, I'm going to do A, and then I may go to 10K and half marathon and marathon. So a lot of cool stuff that's going to be coming over the next several weeks. So make sure that if you're a runner or a coach, they subscribe to this channel. That way you don't miss any of it. Okay, and if you have any questions about any of this, the things that I put out now, or the other 500 plus videos that I've got here, blackbeltrunningcoach at gmail.com is my email. You can reach out to me for any questions. I advise a lot of coaches. I advise a lot of athletes, mentoring, and I coach a lot of folks. So I'm here to help in any capacity. And again, I want to serve you and help you better. Okay. But today we're going to talk about workouts to achieve a sub eight minute mile. This is one of the initial milestones of a lot of runners. Okay, not super fast, but it is a significant milestone for a lot of people, especially in the beginners with whom we're beginning running. Now, in terms of eight minutes, equivalent abilities suggest that for 3K, it's about a 15.25, 8.16 per mile, 5.08 per 1K. If you want to move up to the 5K, that suggests if you're looking to break eight minutes, you should be able to run about 26.25, which is 8.30 per mile, 5.17 per K. Okay, now those are just longer term types of things. Obviously, speed development comes into play. You've got a lot of other things, a lot of other things that come into play as well. But in the beginning, working on building aerobic fitness, okay, and your ability to just sustain pace and get stronger for there. And I want to give you a couple of workouts that'll help you do that. Okay. Tempo runs, which is a continuous run, okay. That'll help position you to not only move up in distance, but also move down and, and, and recover well and perform well. The goal is to build towards the 20 to 20 minute, 20 to 25 minute consecutive run, which is called the tempo run. And you're looking to run at 858 to nine minutes per mile. And then on the back end, if you take a five minute active recovery, you five by 50 meter stride at the end that can turn into sprints or gradually get faster. This will just help get the legs moving when your legs are already tired. It's called turnover, fatigue when you're fatigued, okay? Threshold reps is another source of aerobic development and, and anaerobic threshold, like tempo runs, but it's done at a slightly faster pace, okay? Eight to 10 seconds per mile faster than your usual tempo runs, but it's broken up into pieces with one minute recoveries, okay? That's 848 to 850 per mile here. But if you break it down in finer terms, it's 422, 424 to 425 for 800s. And you're building towards six of these over time, right? With the one minute recovery. And then you can progress to a 1K rep, 1,000 meter rep, building towards four or five of those over time, okay? With the one minute recovery. And then if you can get to the point where you can do miles, three to four of those miles at 848 to 850, with one minute recovery as well, even if you have to start at 90 seconds and progress down to a mile, a one minute recovery, that's a, that's a testament of improved fitness. But if you can do these things and progress from 800s to a mile, you're spending more time in the threshold zone with each longer rep. That's a sign of enhanced fitness. And there's a lot of different ways you can, you know, show enhanced fitness and abilities, which is either run the same workout faster, cut recovery in workouts, add volume to workouts. Okay, so there's a lot of different ways you can do it. Okay, so that's tempo runs and threshold reps. Okay, and the speed development on the back end axis, turnover work and turnover work on the back end axis, speed development. You could do five by fifties on uphills one day, you could do five by fifties on the flats another day, and that will help make you become more efficient. Your stride patterns become more running efficient, which would help in a lot of different ways. If you want to improve in the mile, if you want to move up in distance too. Last thing I want to say, I want to give you a multi pace workout. Okay. This is, it's broken into pieces. You do a 1K rep at 5.16 to 5.17, okay? Take a five-minute recovery. That's essentially 5K pace. Then you, then you do an 800-meter at 4.07 to 4.08. If you look, that's your 3K pace. Take a three-minute active recovery, and then you do a 600-meter, and you try to run at a mile pace, 253 to 254 for the 600 meter rep. Now you just did a multi-pace, you did one rep at 5K pace, one rep at 3K pace, one rep at mile pace, okay? Which puts you in a position to adjust paces accordingly. If you can do it in a workout, the ability to do it in races increases. So I wanted to share those workouts with you today. Let me know what you think, okay? If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to ask. Okay, again, you can email me, you can message me, whatever you like.
Okay. My Instagram is top of the line running. My TikTok, which I just started for running, is access to coach. So if you're following me on there, okay, or if you're not following me on there, make sure you're following me on there, but make sure that you subscribe to this channel as well. That way you have direct access to me for whatever you need. Okay. Hope you found this enjoyable, uh, helpful, enjoyable. Next, we're going to do sub seven, and then we're going to do sub six, and then I'm going to go down 5.30 to 5 minutes, 4.34 minutes, and so on and so forth. So we'll do a lot more milestones. Okay, and if you have any requests on milestones, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to accommodate. Okay, have a great day, everybody. Have a great season. Talk to you next time.